In this video, we're going to go through how to set up your shipping rates if you are using the print on demand service Printful with your Shopify store. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Elle McCann and I've been a Shopify expert for over six years now. If you're new to this channel, we post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. If you've been a subscriber to this channel for a while, thank you so much for watching another video and we really appreciate you. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna go through some of my top questions that I get asked a lot about how to integrate the Printful print on demand app with Shopify specifically about printing. So first I'm going to go through some of the common questions I get and answers to it. And then we're going to actually hop into my computer screen and I'm going to show you how to set up the shipping in your Shopify store for Printful. Okay. So the first question that I get a lot is how do I set up carrier cal? Nope. Let me try that again. Carrier calculated rates for shipping with Shopify and Printful. And the answer is that you have to actually have the Shopify advanced plan or higher to be able to integrate the Printful live shipping rates into your Shopify store. Other than that, you'll have to do flat rate shipping either by price or weight and go off of Printful's rates that they have on their site. The next question is, how do I know exactly how much shipping is going to cost? And while it can vary a little bit because of where someone is located when they place their order versus distance to one of the Printful warehouses, Printful does have a list for each individual product of how much it will cost to ship that item as well as days until it's actually shipped out. So we'll go through that whenever we go into our site and I'll show you exactly where to find that on the Printful site so you know exactly how long your turnaround is going to be as well as what the average shipping cost will be as well for each individual product. Okay, and the last two questions I get all about Shopify and Printful connection are all about fulfillment. So a lot of times people will ask, how does Shopify know if Printful's actually fulfilled the order? And if you've got the app connected for the Printful app into your Shopify store, Printful will actually send information to your Shopify store. So anytime an order has been flagged as shipped and a tracking number has been added, your order will update in Shopify for that. And if you have email notification set up to send tracking order information, then that'll actually trigger through Shopify. So your customer will get an email that has that tracking number so they can track the package through Printful and whatever tracking service they have set up. The other question is, is what if you have products that are both print on demand through Printful and you have regular products that are not through Printful and an order has both products in it? So what happens then? Well, the answer is quite simple. Printful will go ahead and fulfill whatever product is connected through their service and is something that they need to print and they will ship that out. And then either you or your other fulfillment provider will need to ship out the other items. So that one order will actually come as two separate packages. So it'll have two different tracking numbers for it. And whenever Printful marks that one product in the order as shipped, the order will then show as partially fulfilled and either your fulfillment company and, or you or whoever's doing the other product that's not through Printful will need to go ahead and mark the other product as shipped whenever that's done, which will mark the order as fulfilled in the back end of Shopify instead of just partially fulfilled. Okay, so I hope that answered all of your questions about Printful Shopify connection. If you have any additional ones, make sure to comment below and let us know. But let's go ahead and hop into my computer screen and I'm gonna show you how to set up the Printful shipping with your Shopify shipping settings. Okay, so I am on the Printful website now. And first I'm gonna show you how to find out your shipping prices and how fast of a turnaround that is as well. So on the Printful website, we're just gonna go to how it works here and then go to shipping speeds and pricing. And again, you can do live rates if you have a certain Shopify plan of Shopify advanced or higher, um, but we're gonna just do flat rates for this example. So you can see here, they have all of the different products that you can print. So depending on what your product is, you can go into each individual one. 
So let's, for example, go into the pillows because we have some pillows on our store. And we can see here that the first pillow is $10 to ship to the US, 12 for Canada, international from the US is 17, and international from Europe is 675. Now each additional pillow that you purchase increases the price just a little bit more. So for example, it's still gonna be the same price if you were to ship internationally to Canada or from the US, but US, it's cheaper if they purchase two pillows. Uh, you can also see that a pillowcase is different. So each of these are gonna have different prices based on that. So now what we would do is we would take this option and we're going to create a shipping rate off that. So we're gonna do it based off this US number um, and use that as our example. So for the first pillow, it's gonna be $10. So now we're gonna go back into my shipping settings in Shopify. So to get here, you'll just click on settings at the bottom left-hand menu, and then you can go to shipping. Now you can see here, I already have my shipping origin is from the Printful location in California as my main shipping location, just to, to help with the rates if I was gonna be using USPS. However, I'm gonna put in their flat rate shipping rates, um, so it really won't calculate as much based on which location I've done. So I'm gonna do the domestic US shipping first. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit next to domestic US. And we have a couple different options. So we can do this based on price or we can do it based on weight. So for example, for price, this would be, let's say we sell that pillow for $20. So then the price would be, okay, we can come in and do from $20 to another rate is a certain price. So you're just gonna come in and hit add rate. You can have this be named whatever you want. You can name it standard shipping. You can put your shipping turnaround times as well for there. Um, so they know, you know, standard shipping is, you know, two to five business days or however that is. You'll then come in and do the minimum order price. So you could say from $0 to $20, if your pillow is $20, is going to be $10 for shipping the pillow. You could also do you know, multiple amounts. So if you are going to do for them to purchase two pillows off this rate and your pillow price is $20, then you could say you know, from $20 and one cent to $40, it is $15 because again, it's gonna be $10 plus five. So you're trying to figure out exactly how much that shipping cost is gonna be. You also have an option of making it free shipping and actually rolling these shipping prices into the price of your product. It's really up to you and the value that you think you can charge for your product if you can roll that price into it. Your other option is to do a weight-based rate. So it's the same style. So if we hit add rate, you can then of course name it however you want. Um, and then you're gonna do it instead of order total, you're gonna do it based on order weight. So a certain amount of pounds to another amount, it's going to be whatever price. Now I get this question a lot of exactly how do I find out the weight? And Printful, I haven't really found where they've consistently put the price or the weight of an object uh, on their site. But once you actually do add in a product to your store through the Printful app, I'm gonna click on products. So I'm just over here on products in the left-hand menu. If we go to this pillow, we scroll down, you can see once you add this through, and I added it through with the Printful Shopify app, it does pull in the weight here. So we can see that this one pillow is 13.2 ounces. So we can then come in and we could figure out, if we go back to the, our shipping settings, what that range is gonna be of, you know, we need to convert the ounces to pounds to make sure that we're gonna get the correct weight range. And then you could figure out, okay, you could do a range of one pillow of whatever that weight is, um, convert it into pounds is $10, and then again for 15. So you can go ahead and create many different ranges. If you have a variety of products, for example, if we come back to Printful, if you have a variety of products, like you're selling pillows and mugs and tote bags, you'd wanna go in and actually figure out what that median price range or weight range is gonna be, because it may actually vary a lot based on the shipping cost. So for example, the shipping cost for a mug is cheaper than the pillow. However, they may be the same price in your store. So you'll need to do a little bit of math to figure out 
what that average range is gonna be. And then I really just recommend once you start getting some orders, seeing how much the average shipping cost is. And if you're charging too much for shipping or you're losing some money and you're not charging enough. So it's really kind of doing some math in the front end and then doing some trial based as well. So I hope you found that tutorial helpful. Make sure to comment below any additional questions you have either about Printful or Shopify and the shipping settings, and we would love to help you out. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button to be the first to be notified whenever we put new videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thanks for watching.